Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Daryl Brooks saga. On today's episode we're gonna see the the first uh, witness from Mr. Brooks. Uh, he's been called out of order because they needed an interpreter and so they have to kind of work around when the interpreter can do it. So we're gonna go ahead and go right into it. First of all, before that, thank you so much for subscribing. We are at uh, 920 something subscribers. It's great it's awesome we are so close the under a thousand members club is almost closed so take your spot uh subscribe if you're into it uh give it a like please and i'll let's get right into the video this, this is great thank you uh available so i would like to uh put further like, what? testimony what? and what? watch so all these clips on hold <laughs> Um, we do need to take a witness out of order in order to accommodate the interpreter that the court has arranged for. So, Detective Carpenter, you, you may so uh, be excused momentarily. This will be Mr. Uh, Juan Marquez being called by... Wait, you guys love it. You guys need it. You guys ask for it. And we're going to do it right now. So, in Suit Watch, we have a uh, sack over here with the blue suit, the bluish shirt, and the kind of neutral tie. I like it. I like the fact that they all went with blue, blue blazers, I guess. I don't know what they're called, this one are called, but they all went blue. So that, that's an extra point for that. Um, there's two extra points because it's Zack, and I really like his outfit. So he outdid himself today. So it's a 13 for Zack. Uh, well, our guy that you guys told me that was the bailiff, uh, was like the private investigation investigator of Sue Upper. Uh, this is he has a gr light gray suit. I like the suit. I like the shirt. I really don't like the tie. So we're gonna put a nine to him. Tell me in the comments what you guys would give them with give the suits. I really can't comment about uh their the Susan and Leslie's clothes because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know woman's clothing, so I'm just gonna go with what I know. All right, let's move on. Mr. Brooks. Oh, let me come. And Mr. Brooks is calling uh, Juan Marquez. Is that true, sir? Mr. Brooks, are you calling Mr. Marquez as a witness at this time? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, Mr. Marquez, if you would accompany the interpreter all the way to the witness stand. When you get there, um, we're going to have the interpreter sworn first. Do you swear that you will interpret truly, accurately, completely, and impartially in accordance with the standards prescribed by law, the Code of Ethics for Court Interpreters, and Wisconsin Guidelines for Court Interpreting? I do. Certified Spanish Interpreter Patrick Ryan. Thank you. Mr. Marquez, would you please raise your right hand and be sworn by my clerk? Do you solemnly swear that the testimony you're about to give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Same. Yes. Please have a seat. Juan Marquez. Juan Marquez. J-U-A-N. J-U-A-N. M-A-R-Q-U. All right, so really quick, really quick, since we are here already, to watch for the interpreter. I don't like the tie, so that's a point less. The blue and black is okay, I guess. I will just change the tie, so he gets a nine. E Z. M A R Q U E Z. Thank you. Go ahead, sir. You might question this witness. Uh, good morning, Mr. Marquez. Buenos dias, Mr. Marquez. Uh, you were at the parade on November 21st, 2021, is that correct? That is correct. And do you recall who you were there with that day? With my wife and with my son. Right. And were you marching in the parade that day? Yes. 
Do you remember who you were marching with? Was it a particular group? Un grupo particular. Sí. Yes. Do you recall who that group was? ¿Se acuerda quién quién era el grupo con el cual estaba desfilando? Sí. Yes. And at some point, I love it. He's doing the same as the tactic good. He's like he's just answering straight up what, what, what the question is. Yes, no. Yes, no. If you ask me which one it is, then I will tell you. But if you don't, I, then ask the question. I love it. You feel something hit your leg? Oh, Rory's here. That's correct. That's correct. And do you remember what that was? ¿Se acuerda qué fue? Un vehículo. A vehicle. And did you see the vehicle? ¿Vio el vehículo? ¿Lo vio? No. No. At, at some point, did you uh, go to Freighter Hospital? ¿En algún momento usted pasó al hospital Freighter? Sí. Yes. And were you inter interviewed by any law enforcement at that time? <laughs> yes. Do you recall if it was uh, regular officers or FBI? FBI. FBI. Do you recall telling them that the truck was black? Grounds. Um, the objection is sustained as to leading. Please rephrase your question. Do you remember what color you told them the truck was? I don't remember. So it would be fair to say you don't recall seeing anything at that time? No. No. And did you at any time file a claim related to this incident? I don't remember. Do you remember what you told them? I don't remember. Do you know if anyone you were with filed a, a claim related to this incident? Do you know if anyone you were with filed a claim related to this incident? No lo sé. I don't know. Would you consider yourself an injured party in this incident? Yes. Again, I haven't said that in like two episodes, I think. But he doesn't have his suit button. But I'm up. If you stand up, you just button up the first button. It's not hard. Any reason why you wouldn't file a claim? It looks like you clown. considered yourself an injured party. Grounds in many ways. Uh, there's an objection. It's sustained as to the form of the question. Please rephrase. Could you repeat the question? You don't need to answer. Could you repeat the question, please? Please rephrase, Mr. Brooks. <laughs> it's kind of hard to rephrase. Um, figure it out. Did you intend on uh, filing a claim related to this case? Objection. Hold on, there's been an objection. The ground. Your Honor, first of all, I, this witness testified he doesn't recall filing a claim. So I'm not sure what the relevance then would be of the question. The question was, did he intend to? I'll sustain the objection as to the form of the question. Please rephrase. Do you recall at any time filing a police report? Yes. All right. So. Oh. Do you recall at any time being notified that you could possibly testify in this incident? Yes. 
¿Me puede repetir la pregunta? Could you repeat the question? I don't sure. believe it. It's nonsensical. Uh, and irrelevant. Do you recall at any time being notified that it was a possibility that you could testify in this incident? Sí, por aquí en un momento que podría si lo notificaron que habría sido una posibilidad que usted podría testificar con respecto a ese incidente. No. No. Uh, were you ever subpoenaed in relation to this incident? Peanuts. Like peanut butter? Yes. Do you recall who you re uh, received this subpoena from? From the office of the district attorney. And do you recall when that was? Mes, un mes y días. A month and a few days. Um, after receiving the subpoena, did you follow up with the district attorney's office at any time after? Después de recibir entonces el citatorio, uh, recibió un tipo de seguimiento por medio de la oficina fiscal después del incidente? Sí. Yes. Do you recall whom you spoke with? ¿Se acuerda con quién habló? Susan. Susan. Would that be referring to Attorney Opera who was seated at this table? Yes. Uh, ¿Se refiere a Susan Opera que está sentado en esa mesa? Sí. Yes. No. And were you at any time uh, informed of a plaintiff in this incident? Objection relevance. Sustained. Here we go with a plaintiff option. You don't, don't answer that question. Were you at any time notified that there was a plaintiff in this incident? Objection Grounds. The objection is sustained. The witness does not need to answer. Do you even know if there's a plaintiff in this incident? Objection relevance. Grounds. The objection is sustained. The witness does not need to answer. Do you recall ever seeing, <laughs> excuse me, <clears throat> do you ever recall, <clears throat> sorry, do you recall ever seeing or reading a complaint in this matter? No. Do you recall ever seeing or reading a complaint in this matter? No. No. Going back to the the actual incident, would it be fair to say that at the time you were you were very confused? Yeah, he just got hit by a car. Could you repeat the question? Can you repeat this nonsense? Uh, question? Going back to the time of the incident at the parade, would it be fair to say that you were confused at the time? When? Before he hit them? After he hit them? No. No. Any reason why you don't recall seeing anything? Could you repeat the question? Any reason why you don't recall seeing anything? No vi el vehículo. I did not see the vehicle. Solo pasó. It just passed by. Just, just so we're clear for the record, you don't recall actually seeing the vehicle. También si vamos a estar clarificando por el acta, no se acuerda que vio el vehículo. No. No. No further questions. No more questions. Good morning, Mr. Reckes. All right. I just want to make a little thing here. Like we just saw him interview his first first witness. We, we we've seen him do cross examination on everyone else, but now, do you guys see any point of him calling this witness? Did it help him in any way? Did he did this tell the jury no? You I I didn't hit them. I wasn't there. No. He didn't do anything for him. This is his witness. And he tried to discredit him, trying to tell that he didn't see anything, 
that he I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think about his questioning? Is I think it's nonsense. Good morning. Uh, On November 21st of last year, were you walking with the Catholic communities of Waukesha? It was an accident answer. He just asked Waukesha. If he was. That's correct. Hold on. What was the objection? You have to speak up. I couldn't hear what you said. I have a cold, so I can't. So what? Mr. Brooks, was there an objection? So I can move on. Yeah, yes, there was an objection. I can't even remember now. <laughs> well, if you were objecting on relevance, it's relevant. His answer may stand. It wasn't relevant. You were with your wife and your son? Yes. And your son's name is David Marquez? Objection leading. It's cross-examination. Overruled, you call the witness the state may lead. Go ahead and answer. What does that mean? Go ahead and answer, sir. Si. Yes. You testify that at some point you were struck by a vehicle. Objection. What? Overruled. You may answer. Yes. Did you have any warning before you were struck by the car? Objection. Hearsay. He's asking him. Overruled. The witness may answer. No. No. Did you hear a horn honking? Objection. You're saying. Overruled. The witness may answer. No. No. Sir, I'm going to show you what's been marked as State's Exhibit 161. Do you see the approximate area where? You landed after the vehicle struck you. Objection leading. It's cross. They can oh, lead. The state may lead. It's not their witness. Go ahead and answer, sir. So when he's, so I can lead too if it's not my witness? No. Well, hold on. We'll get to that later. There's been an objection. I'm over I, I think he just figured out in his head that this he's been we've been doing this for nine days. And this is the first time that he realizes that cross examination can lead the witness to answer to questions. So he's he's mad that he's realized realizing that right just now. Ruling it. Go ahead and re ask your question. They can do what they want. Do you, do you see the area in which you landed after the vehicle struck you? See. Yes. I'd ask that. Uh, this exhibit be admitted to evidence, which is 161, and published to the jury. Objection. Um, we can't even see. We can't even see who who's what, what exactly is the state referring to. He got so close to the mic. Can't even see who it is. Oh, just state your objection. It's overruled. Of course, it's going to be overruled. Because it's an attempt to testify, but if the state could just ask uh, a few more foundational question or questions, please. Certainly. What, when you met with the state, did you review some video of the parade? Objection, hearsay. Overruled the witness may answer. Yes. And after reviewing that video, were you able to determine a proper the area in which your body landed after you were struck by the car. Objection, hearsay, and leading. Overruled as to both, you may answer, sir. Yes. And do you see that area on this exhibit? Objection, leading. Overruled, the witness may answer. Okay. Yes. I'd ask that this uh, exhibit be admitted to evidence and published for the jury. Objection. What's the relevancy? <laughs> it's what happened. Uh, the objections are noted. They are overruled. And exhibit 161 is received. Permission to publish is granted. Can you circle the area in which you believe you landed? Objection leading. Overruled. The witness may answer. Let me say where they believe. Either you 
know you don't. Sí. Yes. Can you do that now? If we can take a snapshot of that. He said that they fixed the house. I don't know what Mr. Brooks just mumbled, but it's not his turn to answer, ask questions. There was no objection. The jury will disregard that. And this would be Exhibit 161A. 161 is received. 61A. Thank you. And you see anyone that you recognize standing in that area? Objection leading. <coughs> Overruled. The state may lead. It's cross examination of your witness, sir. So I can lead on uh, cross examination, then? I direct your attention to 90611 sub can 3, I lead sir. On cross -examination? Can I answer I'm not going to answer that. Go ahead, uh, so that's, sir. You may your answer. determination that you don't have to answer that? Yes. If I don't understand something? The jury will disregard. Doesn't this matter. Comments being made by Mr. Brooks. Judicial determination, okay. Go ahead and answer the question if you recall it, sir. ¿Me puede repetir la pregunta? Could you repeat yeah, the question? I forgot about it already. Do you see, actually, do you see David, um, your son, in David, that picture? Uh, Objection. That was sí. Yes. And is he wearing. So my objection is not going to be noted. The objection is overruled. The state chose to ask a different question. That's fine. <clears throat> and is he seated um, near some blue chairs wearing a blue jacket? Objection leading. Overruled. You may answer, sir. Che. Yes. And, sir, is that you laying down? And you can see in this um, picture your legs and they're hanging <laughs> into the roadway? Objection leading. Witness may answer. Overruled. <clears throat> yes. Is that where you were walking when you were struck from behind? Objection in that leading. Position? Uh, he doesn't get it. He just doesn't get it. Overruled, you may answer. No. No. How far from the position that you recalled yourself to be at when you were walking did you land? Objection leading. Overruled, you may answer. Between 15 and 20 feet. 20 feet. That's so your body lot. flew through the air between 15 and 20 feet. Is that Objection what your testimony leading. is? Just clarifying. Okay. Yes. Sorry, I didn't rule on the objection, but it is overruled and his answer may stand. Was David also struck by a vehicle during the parade? Okay. Yes. Did he re he received injuries as well? Objection. Relevancy. Overruled, you may answer. Okay. Yes. Can you describe what your injuries were, sir? Objection leading. How is that leading? She's just Overruled asking what answer. the injuries were. What? Two. Yes. What were they? Objection leading. Overruled. My God, he's just doing it for, for laughs now. Like, I get it. You don't like that she's asking him questions better than you did. But that doesn't mean that you have to do it every time. You call this guy. And now it's hurting your case. La fibula. My fibula. Y ligamentos. And ligaments. Your fibula was broken? Objection. Speculative. Overruled as to both. It's the witness may answer. T. Yes. And you had torn ligaments? Objection leading. Overruled. Did you say that in the question before? Sí. Yes. And were those both in the same leg? Objection <laughs> leading. Sí. Sorry, yes. over, overruled. If we yeah, of course. just wait when there's an objection, um, I'm overruling it. It's relevant. It's not leading. The witness's answers may stand. I mean, yeah, you overrule every objection. Yeah, and the because jury will disregard one. the additional commentary made by Mr. Brooks at this time. Judicial misconduct at its finest. 
And which leg was that, sir? Objection, action, answer. Overruled. No. My left leg. I Did you disagree have to have with that translation. I'm sorry to Mr. Translator. I like him. But he said my, my left foot, I think. Okay, we're, we're going to hear it again. My left leg. Yeah, he said my left foot, not my left leg. That's different. Foot, pie means foot. Pierna means leg. So, I'm, I'm on to you, Mr. Interpreter. Did you have to have surgery on that leg? No objection, lady. Overruled. Sí. Yes. Just one? Dos. Two. That's not going to work either. Mr. Brooks, you are advised to stop with the commentary. No, I'm going to say what I want. You to called wow. this witness. I'm going to take a break right now and excuse the jury and this witness. All right. What, you, what you're doing is judicial misconduct. Judicial misconduct. But you don't want the jury to hear the truth. What truth? That's not fair to the jury. They have a right to hear everything. No, they don't. I need to hear evidence. That you fix, fix the trial because you don't want to tell the truth to the jury. Mr. Brooks, please stop. No, they know. Please, you are nothing. being disruptive. Ain't you no are please. being disrespectful. Yeah, you always going to find some reason down. to say somebody's being disruptive because they want the truth to be out there. Man, quit it. What? You're supposed to be Mr. the judge. Mr. Brooks, I'm advising you that continued interruptions will result in you forfeiting your right to be okay, present in this court. Under what, under what law in fact can you do that? Illinois versus Allen, Okay, sir. but the fourth, the fourth uh, option that you made up that's not even in the uh, law? Mr. Because Brooks, you can't do that. I need to make a By law, you can't do that. I need to you know you can't. All right, I'm going to um, excuse everyone. Mr. Brooks is being removed from the courtroom. Good. He will continue yeah. in the neighboring courtroom. Uh, please make sure he has his objection signed and a pad of paper. So is that so that he can? So is that holding me in contempt? Nope. And I will make a ruling when I. And, uh, so are you holding me in contempt? Up. He's not. Is that civil or criminal? <laughs> oh. I do the same thing every time, man. Every time she don't want to tell the truth to the jury, somebody got to get put out of the courtroom. That's contempt. It's not. Of court. I'm not. I'm not ignorant, man. I, you are. Mr. Brooks, prior to the court removing him. Uh, had interrupted the court approximately 10 times prior to 10.19 a.m. Uh, then, of course, he was removed. This does not include the repeated commentary, either under his breath but still audible for the court to hear, the jury to hear, and witnesses uh, to hear uh, related to a variety of topics, including subject matter, juris jurisdiction, misconduct by the court, disapproval uh, with the court's rulings. This very last witness was a witness called out of order at the request of Mr. Brooks. He has forfeited his right to be present during the cross-examination uh, and any redirect of Mr. Marquez. Um, Mr. Brooks's conduct has been anything but respectful. The record should reflect the jury is being brought back in. The state may continue with its uh, cross-exam of this witness. The state would have nothing further. Good. All right, Mr. Brooks, do you have any redirect for this witness? Mr. Brooks. Mr. Brooks, do you have any further questions for Mr. Marquez? <coughs> Record should reflect that Mr. Brooks is reading out of a book. He has not answered the question. I will ask one more time. 
Sir, do you have any further questions for Mr. Marquez? You are. Am I unmuted? You are. You have been. All right. What's going on? Do you have any redirect What's questions for on? Mr. Marquez? He doesn't have the headphones, though. This is your opportunity to ask any follow-up questions uh, that you have for this witness. There we go. Say something. I, I'm trying to see if the headphones on. No. Someone say something from the other courtroom. Do you have any questions for Mr. Marquez at this time? It's your opportunity to ask follow up questions. The state indicated it did not have any additional questions. No? You do or you don't? <laughs> nope, I don't got no follow up questions. All righty. All right, thank you. Then, Mr. Marquez. You may step down. Thank you for being here today. Uh, the court is going to continue with the uh, direct examination by the state of Detective Carpenter. Um, I would like you to come back to this courtroom. Um, are you willing to conduct yourself consistently with the decorum and respect inherent in the concepts of courts and judicial proceedings? I didn't do anything to be found held in contempt in the first place. You weren't held in contempt. So are you willing to abide by the rules of decorum and civility? Um, I would direct your attention to um, SCR Chapter 62, which has been provided to you previously. Um, does that say anything in there about me being held in contempt? Um, that does not, no. So why have, I, why have I been held in contempt? I didn't hold you in contempt, sir. You are simply in a different courtroom based upon your disruptive behavior. I'm giving my you the opportunity. has not been di disruptive. You I have been. I put my findings on the record, sir, and I the record stands in that regard. Um, I'm giving you the corrected. opportunity, um, if you can, uh, indicate to this court that you will conduct yourself um, with courtesy and decorum, are you willing so, to do that, sir? Is, the, is your honor willing to tell me why I've been held in contempt? I did not hold you in contempt, sir. I've already indicated that. Removing me from... It's like, you keep saying that word. It doesn't mean what you think it means. Like, just because you keep saying contempt, 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 it doesn't make it... It's not going to magically make it contempt, my guy. In the courtroom is, is like holding me in contempt. It's not. Um, I didn't hold you in contempt. You were removed pursuant to the authority given to me by the United States Supreme Court in Illinois versus Allen um, based on your disruptive behavior. Yeah. My behavior wasn't disruptive, Your Honor. The record should be corrected in that. And as I it was. recall you stating before, or not you stating, but us having a... a a conversation about Illinois versus Allen for the record at one point. I could, I got the date in my notes that we had it where I, I said on the record that there were three three uh, options identified. And he's, he's forgetting one. He's forgetting at the beginning. It says no one solution is uh, applicable to all cases. So, it, and then he says we found at least three options that opens the floor for every judge to be to be doing this like doing what judge Doro is doing is doing like, making an alternative way to do it and this illinois versus allen i think he said like 50 years ago 
So they didn't have the technology that we have. So all this, all this thing that he's saying is irrelevant. Brooks, I'm not going to have a debate with you on what the law means and whether you understand it or not. I'm simply asking you whether you are willing at this time to abide by the standards of courtesy and decorum that are outlined in SCR Chapter 62 and that are inherent uh, in the concept of courts and judicial proceedings, including um, making proper objections based upon the rules of evidence, based upon the rules of procedure, based upon the law, uh, and that you will generally conduct yourself with dignity and decorum. Easy enough. But is, it not my right? is it not my right to object? You were not objecting. You were saying I'm going to ask Mr. Brooks one more time if he would like to come back to this courtroom and if he's willing to conduct himself um, with dignity, respect, and decorum. Keep it in there. But for the record, I don't consent to being called that name, and I never stated that I wanted to be removed from the courtroom. All right, I'm going to mute uh, Mr. Brooks. He is clearly not answering my question, um, and given his recent conduct, I'll indicate he continues to forfeit his right to be present. So with that, uh, why don't we have Detective Carpenter come on back to the stand. The jury is advised to come out. He wants to come back? All right. Um, the witness can stay here. Please have the jury remain. We'll have to clear the courtroom so he can be brought back in. Um, we'll be in recess for that. All righty. That's going to be it for today. We saw the first witness of Mr. Brooks, and it didn't go well for him. This is just a little taste of what is going to be his defense. But we're going to go into that a bit later. We, we're going to, tomorrow, we're going to come back with a uh, for you guys that really like long episodes, tomorrow is going to be one of those. It's going to be like a Marvel movie kind of uh, time length because we're going to see like, I think we have like an hour and a half left from the interrogation. So if you guys like long episodes, stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Give it a like if you make it this far. It really helps the channel. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.